All right, guys, this is uh, the video about installing all the goodies, XCX menu, dash launcher, uh, out of find neighborhood, out of connecting to neighborhood, uh, out of installed games to neighborhood, uh, XBLA games, X Classic games. So what you got to do is get a USB, you got to sit on your computer. You're going to format it to FAT32. This particular is 8 gig, could be a 4 gig, it's big enough. So format is complete. So we got to do go inject. So now we're going to put it in the Xbox. We're going to bring it to the Xbox part. All right, show it up. Your you have to format it in the Xbox. Yes. So once that's done, pull it out of the Xbox, bring it back to the computer, plug it in. Open folder, should be saying that. So what you gotta do now, you're gonna open Horizon. should find your drive there you go see now there's no demos here no demos at all right so we're going to go inject file file is this file here which is I have it in I'll show you the folder it's XCX manual do that that this all right so now it's injecting copying it to the USB so it's copying right there you'll see <clears throat> once this is done we'll put the USB back in in the Xbox I'm going to show you that it's downloaded here to a demo Okay, so now let's see. See, XCX menu, it's installed in demos. All right, so now you exit. You exit that. I'm sticking that back in USB in the Xbox. Should be showing up. All right, there you go. Click on it. A. Press A on it. Okay. Go exit again. You press A. Go to Y. Transfer content to hard drive. Press select A. And then with the thumbstick slide it to the side till you see start in green press start so now it's transferring your XEX menu to your hard drive and your Xbox so my Xbox now after this will have an XEX menu I will show you right away transferred complete okay continue all right so now in USB there's nothing in there it's all zeros it used to be stuff in it so now we're gonna do exit back out you gotta go to my games should I have XCX menu I'll pull up XCX menu 
you create a profile. Uh, call it. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it R G H. Done. So now it's going to put into XEX menu. As you can see, XEX menu has been booted. Now you see there's nothing on there. Nothing. Only those folders. Alright, so. Now. Let me... Before you do anything else, you have to... Install my first thing will be the install will be dash launcher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install another USB that I had dash launcher on it. It should show. Oh, okay. So is almond dash launcher right there? Hide it highlighted in blue. Alright, you press that. You press on the remote. Oh, by the way, you, if you don't like this scan, you could change it in Aurora instead of going. Uh, all right, let's put that one. All right, I like this better. All right, so is. What you got to do is go into on the dash launcher. You press Y, press A on the copy, press copy. Now go press Y again. Actually, no, sorry. X. Go on the hard drive, press A, and press Y again when you're on this. Content. This is your hard drive. Press Y, and then you go down to paste. You paste it. All right. So your dash launcher is on there. I'm gonna click on it. You know, install it, and she'll boot up into dash launcher. There you go. So now, my next step is a file that I have. Uh. I'm going to go back to game, the XCX menu. Go to USB. You have this file here xbdm.xex. You're going to press Y, copy it. Press X, hard drive, and paste it in the, in the root of the hard drive. So now you go back to Dash Launcher. Now you're going to go into Paths. No, actually, no. Ah, what I do. Let me go back into dash launches. Sorry guys, screwed up. Dash launcher. Uh, plugins. Go into plugins. See I got nothing? No plugins at all, so we go into none, click it, go to the hard drive, go XBDEMEX. This is what you gotta press A on it. Now, right bumper, uh, go down to hard drive, press A, and then X. Press A again. Now, X again. All right, so now it should be should be saved. 
So you're going to exit that out. We're going to go look at the dash launcher again just to see if it's there. Put it in a hard drive. Dash launcher. Let's see, go to paths, go to the plugins. There it is. HD ABDX. What this does is helps you connect the neighborhood. So now, all right, so now back on the computer. Let's try to connect into neighborhood. What we're going to do is click on, oh, I don't know the iPass. Another thing you got to do is you got to copy the iPass, uh, the I, IP address of your Xbox. Gotta go all the way to uh you're gonna go to network settings. It's on wire, yep. Configure network. So it is 192 That's my IP address of the Xbox. All right, so let's back, exit back out. Go back into the computer. We want to open up next. You're going to put the IP address that you saw. I believe that was the one. Click next. Could not be found. Okay. All right, let's try. Let's try something else. Okay, let's see. Again, configure network. Still on the same act. Okay. I'm on a wire. In my games. Let's see what the dash launcher says. Uh, you know what I didn't do guys? You gotta reboot your console. Sorry. I just thought about it. Um, I'm gonna go while I'm here I'm gonna do something too. I'm gonna increase this uh, the GPU the fan to about 75 percent so it keeps maintains the Xbox cool see it's at 38 we're gonna lower that temperature about probably about 40 if you're doing it at 75 then you go down down to save press save all right um, this is not giving me the IP address it gives me the in serial number all right but anyway what you have to do I forgot about it we have to turn the console off and boot it back up. So 
So we're going to boot it back up. Then we're going to try to hook up with. Let's see how long it's going to take to boot. There you go. Boots pretty fast. Actually, good. That 18 file is very good on this console. <clears throat> so now let's see. Uh, let's see, see what we have. It's still. Let's see. Now we have uh, network again. Hardwire. Configure network. All right, still on the same, 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 same. So now I'm going to go back in here. We're going to try that again. There you go, guys. See, once I did that, it all said yes. So we got to go in to say yes. Next. Finished. So here's my JTAG right here. As you can see, I'm in neighborhood right now. So now, here's what I have and all the files that I have. I know, I forgot to turn the console on. So now, here's what we got to do now. We'll go... Go into... What we're going to do is, we're going to bring... Oh! I'll show you everything. Fake you. So fake you. It's uh, uh, starting booting. will give you different options of look. I'll show you what I have inside of it. I have a lot of it. All right, you go into Jukebox. You have all of these guys. Say I could play one of them actually. Shockwave. I have all of these in there to show. All right. All right, back into the other file. Now we're gonna copy Aurora. Just copy and drag. Bang. So now it's copying Aurora. I'll show you in a minute. After this, all of this, I'm going to go into the console. You'll see everything will be on XEX menu. All right, Aurora is in here, is here. Skins, yeah, it's got all these special skins that I put on. The new one, does it won't play them, so. All right. So let me see XCX menu. Now, as you can see, this Xbox does not play uh, Xbox One games right now. We're going to fix that. What we're going to do is the same the same USB that you that I use for or we could use another one if you want format that again to FAT32 okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up you're gonna drag your HD compatibility partition fixer okay this is what you got to do. Got to drag that into your 
into your USB. Then after that, you carry that compatibility too. Put that in there. All right. This is where you're going to be installing. So now if I go back to my desk launcher, you can do it through. Okay, let me see. Now you have to do it a USB. I can't do it through neighborhood. It's not. I don't want to try any of this crap. So let's do. Let's keep it. Keep this the way it is right now. What I'm going to do is. Inject this USB. I'm going to go back. to XEX menu, which should be in my computer. Press RGH. I'm going to install Alright, it's compatibility. So what you're going to do is press X on the remote, press X, go down to X, HDDX. Alright, you're going to open it up. You're going to see that's what's in your hard drive right now. So back out of there, go press X again, go to USB, Go into your folder, your HDD compatibility partition fixer, press A on it, go down to the default, press on default, then it gives you the option here to do it, press A to attempt to wire ring, so you're going to press A, because you're going to delete what's there. Okay, so this is done. Press B to exit. Now, if you go into H, uh, let me uh, just go back to to XEX menu again. Go to HDDX. There's nothing in there. See, so now. You back to the USB. You have to carry this on into the hard drive, but it can't do it now. You have to shut your console off for this to happen. Otherwise, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. So shut the console off every time you were delete. You turn it back on. Just wait the boots up. Woo, baby. Thing is fast this time. Woo. So I'm going to show you. All right, now you're going to go, you're going to copy that compatibility folder. Press A, copy, press X, go down to HDX, press A, then you press Y, and then go down, press A, and paste. So now it's pasting that compatibility folder that lets it play Xbox One games. 
So that's done. That's another thing out of the way, guys. So now, take that. Go back into the hard drive. Now you're going to click Aurora. I'm going to go down the XCX menu. I'm going to show you how Aurora is on through Xbox Neighborhood. I got to fix this. Uh, let's see, a new version is available. But if I do that in a new version, it won't give me this option. I'll show you. Um, see there's a new available I'm not going to go in because I, I don't want to because I want to do something I'm going to show you see I have skins in there I'm going to change skins see I could do a lot of these like I said select A uh, press back into restart and now it'll be Star Wars. Alright. Now the new <coughs> Aurora, I can't I can't select these. Um I'm gonna show you how to set it up to through Aurora. See, obviously I have no games in there. You see no games, nothing. So what I'm going to do is we'll change the skins again. We're going to select the default. Go back to default. Uh, it says a restart required. So what we're going to do is go back to restart again. So I'm out of this one. So now, getting back to neighborhood on a computer, I'm going to show you. So we don't need this folder no more. This is all done, so it's out. So now, I'm gonna show you how to do. You're gonna create a folder. You're gonna name it, three, six. No, actually, X, B, L, A. So this is XBLA, there's no games in there. Okay, that's fine. XBLA games. So I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go to my, uh, my other hard drive that I have, XBLA games. I have all of these games in there, guys. All of these games. Uh, I believe it's 164 games. All right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into one of these, uh, all right, it's a B Jewel. I'm going to copy it over. Okay, so it's foldering copying. So I'm copying the game through neighborhood. All right. So I already have one game now. I'm just going to show you. This is just to show you now. Xbox Classics. So we got to go back to neighborhood. You're going to build another folder. 
you're going to name it Xbox Classic. Xbox Classic, right? So now you're going to open up Xbox Classic and go back to where your computer is where you have all your Xbox games. So I'll do all uh, this. This will take Xbox Classic will take a while. Uh, I'll do Halo. This is going to take a little bit long, guys, so just be a uh, little patient. This is a uh, part of the tutorial. Then I'm going to show you how this plays the Xbox. Meanwhile, while while I'm doing that, it's I'm going to show you something in in Aurora that you could do. Uh, let me go uh, just something. I'm going to show you something. While that's being downloaded, I'm going to show you something in So setting, display, resolution, go down to, yeah, yes, okay. So now, go back to freestyle, yes. <clears throat> now Aurora. All right, I'm going to show you something in Aurora that you have to do to make it good. Alright, so you're going to go down. Oh, there's another thing, annuity. Annuity is your, you can use your, uh, I'm not going to do that now. So I'm just going to change that. I'm going to go into, into here, you're going to change all of this stuff. So what you're going to do is, it says Xbox Arcade, you're going to, you're going to go into Edit Path. Now actually, let me delete that first. We'll delete that. Yes. So no Xbox arcades, homebrew it. You're going to delete that too. You're going to press Y. Press A, go into delete. Yes. So you delete all those, delete those two. So now you're going to go into you're going to go into edit path. You're going to set quick view. You're going to change that name to whatever you want. So what I'm going to do what I'm going to do first is. I'm going to do homebrew. Oh, 
home brew. Done. You're gonna change the icon. Home brew icon will be this. Press Y, select, press A, select. Then you go into filters. So no other one comes in besides anything that's on brew. Then you go in the end and save. Now you have on brew. Okay? Now the next one will be emulators. buttons emulators okay then you press done then you add it change the icon you're going to go to emulator's icon. It'll be this one. Then filters on emulators. And to go save. So now you got you got one more to do. We're going to do Xbox Classic. Oh. Okay. On XBLA, we're gonna do XBLA. Let's do XBLA. Uh, we're gonna do XBLA. Done. Change icon. Uh, XBLA Arcade. Add a filter. Only XBLA games. Press save. Now we're going to do another one. Xbox Classic. <clears throat> Alright, the Xbox One game is it's uh, downloaded. X box sit done so now change icon Going to Xbox Classic. Alright, so now then you add a filter which only Xbox Classics are going to that. And save. So all this is done now. Pretty much all you've done is done. So now I'm going to show you. Since I already have an XBLA game in Aurora. You're going to go into add a path. You're going to go three. You're going to go. What do I have? Uh, let's change. Let's see. Go into hard drive. Uh, XBLA games. All right. That's, I got a game there. So press Y, select. Go down three. Uh, you could, you could call it none, because then save. All right, so now I guarantee there's a game in XBLA. Now, if you go to uh, XBLA, it's there, right? You go to emulator, is not there. Go to homebrew, is not there. You go in Nick, not there. 
Xbox 360 is not there. And show all, obviously when it says show all, it shows everything that you have, all the games, no matter. So now, let's do the classic, Xbox Classic. I'm gonna do, add another path. Add another path, do three. I'm gonna go change, hard drive. I'm gonna go Xbox Classics. See your Halo's in there? All right. So I'm gonna press Y right here on the Xbox Classic. You can use it as non and save. And Halo is in Aurora. There you go, and all, all of them. So now, let's see, X360, no, Nick, no, Homebrew, no, Emulators, no, XBLA, no, Xbox Classics should be in there. There you go, guys. All right? So this is how you have to do that so it doesn't, when you download games, they won't go all over the place. It's hard to control, but if you do this, They'll never go anywhere. I could change my skin. Let me change it to background. You could put any picture you want there. So, all right, let's do it. Let's do homebrew things. Let's go into edit path. Um, I didn't upload in emulators yet, but say uh, homebrew. Go change, hard drive, you can select Aurora. So Aurora should be in Homebrew. Do another one. Uh, dash Launcher, select. Uh, should be in Homebrew. Actually, I didn't because I, you got to save it. Uh, add another one. Change Aurora. Go in hard drive. Select Aurora. Then you gotta save it because I didn't save it before. Now it should be in it. And another one. Unbrew it. Change. We'll go fake him. Select. Alright, now I should have those three in in on brew. There they are. Well, fake you, there's no cover to it. I can't get a cover. Dash launcher. All right. Uh, where's Aurora? Hmm. I didn't save Aurora. Aurora's here, but somewhere. No. So Aurora should be in on brew. Let's see. No. All right. Let's go. Let's see what happened. There's Aurora. I'm going to do is press A on it. I'm going to delete it. Yes. So I'm going to do is change the path to three. Uh, don't brew it. Change, hard drive, select, and save. Let's see. There you go. That's what you have to do. It was at two, but I had to do three. So, there it is. So now, I'm gonna go back to neighborhood. All right, so you have all of these things now. You can create another folder here. Um, it'll be 360 games. 
But I'm not going to download any 360 games because it'll take a long time. But it's the same process with as far as uploading them, which is great. So now let me see if I have any emulators. There you go, Schnaz. So what I'm going to do is go into the hard drive. Uh, Schnaz. It's got a lot of ROMs. Yeah, okay. The ROMs might not go through, but um, I'm going to carry over and drop it. So Schnaz is going to transfer. Okay. I know why. Because a lot of games are no good. So I'm going to cancel that. And delete. So I'm going to try another one. See if... Uh, where's the Game Boy? Let me see how many ROMs... Also a lot. Gee. Let's see if this one goes. No, once the games are no good, it won't it won't it won't do it won't upload. But but that's how you do it guys. Pretty much if you take all the ROMs out of it, which I can do that. Let me see something. I'm going to do something. So, ROMs, you have to delete. So, what you do is, you're going to drop this one, yes. Media, yes. Skip ROMs. For now, yes. Then screenshots, yes. And then default down to all of them. All right, so now what we got to do is create a folder name ROMs. Oh, I gotta rename it. Sorry, gotta rename it. Roms. All right. So, so what that is, you open it up, open the Roms up. Uh, so I'm just gonna drag one game for now. All right. Then you gotta drop. Say I want to drop another one. Super Mario Advance. Let's see. All right, now I'm dropping Pac-Man Collection. All right, Spider-Man. All right, so there's four games in 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 the rooms. So let's go into the Xbox, into Aurora, and find out if. Um,
Got to boot Aurora again to see if Game Boy Advance is there. Okay, so now we're going to go into Manager Path. Go into 3, change of path, hard drive. Game Boy Advance, select. We're going to go emulators. Save. So this should be on emulators now. Let's go see emulators. Game Boy Advance. There you go, guys. I'm going to show you how to see if it has those games and plays them. It does. There you go. playing them. So you're going to do the same thing with SNES. Create. I'm going to go back to the computer. I'm going to create a new folder. 